All right, what we have here is the chemical trailer. Uh, big thousand gallon water tank and the little chemical cubicle. Uh, Roundup's usually what goes in there and then just straight water. And then when my uncle's spraying corn or soybeans, he just pumps in however much water he needs and uses the jugs of chemical to uh, put in. But he doesn't need let's see this is sitting crooked a little bit he, yeah that's plenty of water he only needs about he said only about 400 gallons left 400 gallons of water to uh finish spraying at a farm so what we're going to do here is Oh, look at that. Good thing I didn't have the phone. Frick. Anyway. So yeah, um, it's a Dodge on the uh, trailer. Uh, I gotta go check the mailbox real quick, but I'm gonna take that, uh, this back up to the farm where he's at and get my truck and come back and we will be good. So I'll meet y'all up. All right, we're pulling into the farm here. My truck there's the sprayer just gonna stick this back in the spot it was try to at least so I'm gonna hit that freaking boom all right good enough and there's 7210 bush hog always wind is up uh, first rate herbicide is what it looks like. Yeah, that's what that is. Two quarts per 100 gallon. So, yeah, uh, this truck only has a hundred and around 102,000 miles for a 1999 model. Yeah, it's a 99 model, I think. My uncle bought it new in 1998. So yeah. Alright, uh, this is where we cut hay and waterways and then uh, soybeans, cornfield. He's spraying these soybeans. He, uh, That's what he said uh, at lunchtime when he came home for lunch. I need that tank filled up about 400 so gallon. He's probably, I don't know, it's jostling around in there. There's probably more than 400 gallon. Yeah, there's probably 450 gallon in there if it settled down. But anyway, so uh, so yeah, I need to make sure those chemical. Make sure those jugs didn't flip over. Um, now they're good. They're good. But um, but yeah, he's uh spraying over top of. Soybeans is what he's doing, and and yeah, uh, he does the spraying. I don't, I'm not around when he does it, but oh well. But John Deere 6500 sprayer, that's what it is. 60 foot booms. It does have a Outback uh, GPS monitor in it, so it does have. See, there's the. Uh, Outback Guidance is what it's called. So it does have GPS on it and uh, yeah, 60 foot booms and best thing we ever bought right here. Best thing because we, before this thing, which this is like a fourth or fifth season with this, uh, we had a little trail behind. Uh, it was probably, probably 500 gallon. Either 500 or 750 gallon double axle uh 
trail behind sprayer is what it was and we pulled it behind that 6420 and we couldn't spray over the top of corn or soybeans because we didn't because we didn't have any road crop tires uh, so we'd have to get the uh, uh, or to see a farm service which is cps now they would have to come out here and spray for us and that got to be a bother because they would take care of their big customers first and then us little us little uh smaller farmers you know we get the short end of the stick they could only come out here when i had time or some of the time they would take care of their big customers that had several several acres more than us but I mean, we bought that thing before the 9660, right? No. That was after the 9660 combine. Yeah. Anyway, so, best thing we ever bought, though, do our own spraying. But like I said, it's, uh, he's just spraying out here, and, uh, I won't be, a, I probably will not be around to get any footage. Uh, somebody commented on the, uh, corn scouting video that I should take bring the drone out here um, if I was around to uh, see it I would but Hardin County Fair starts tonight so I'm gonna see if I can find some people to go with and do that but anyway thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe there's a little bit of a uh, spraying well not really spraying action but spray talking as it is but yeah that's what the that's what's going on here is uh spraying herbicide and uh 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 roundup is pretty much all it is so thanks for watching all right he just put some a uh choice choice stuff in there. Uh, I wasn't really sure what it was. I had to bring him up here. He's supposed to get done here in the next few uh, minutes, or well, this afternoon here. And he want me to bring his truck home so when he comes home with the spur, we can somebody, somebody can come up here and get the uh, truck and trailer. So, see ya.